In this video, we're going to look at the question, is the scythe, the new scythe weapon, the two-handed scythe, actually good? Because, I mean, it looks pretty damn sick. But is it able to perform damage? So right now, I'm using dual scythe to test the damage that it does. Right now, I'm not getting a huge impression, but one of the one of the scythes that I have applies fire damage. It sets the scythe on fire. And look, both of my scythes are now on fire because of the one being on fire. It's actually pretty damn cool. So every time you do a few attacks, the one scythe enables its fire mode and basically stays on fire. It's like this. And it looks pretty damn sick. I gotta say, it's one of the coolest looking things I've seen. J just tell me that's not cool, dude. Tell me that's not cool. But in terms of actual, like, usability, is it strong? It, it doesn't really have a lot of, like, benefits to it. It's kind of like how your average two-hand main weapon actually feels like. You know, the big swords, the big axes. They don't really manage to get past certain enemy defenses. And it kind of feels lackluster in that sense because there's a lot of other weapons that can do way better. Like, for example, the dual spears, the dual one-handed axes, the dual one-handed swords that we recently got. Those are all catered to, like, dealing with every type of enemy in a really good way whereas the heavy weapons only really cater for enemies who don't have shields which is ironic because a heavy weapon you know isn't able to deal with people who have like heavy shields and armor and stuff it's, it's kind of weird it's just kind of irritating that you kind of get blocked all the time you have these two massive weapons but it doesn't feel like you can ever get that damage through and I feel like they're trying to like hold it back by making it so that you get blocked all the time but I feel like that ruins the experience because with all the other weapons you can just seamlessly damage until the enemy's dead you know regardless Regardless. Now, if you do want to get a scythe to try it yourself, one of the scythes can be found in the north side of the map here in the armor chest located right over here. As always, you'll need a key and you'll need to do some puzzle solving. You'll go down in this thing over here, unlock this door, and you'll find the loot crate in somewhere in this area over here. You can also find another scythe directly in Paris at one of the golden marks located right over here on the lower end of Paris at this point over there. Just beware on the rats on this one because they can be super irritating and annoying and attack you all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching.